And now the USB, the USB port, that's that's different altogether. This is kind of a game changer for uh, these radios. That is the most requested feature that I saw. You know, watching uh, the comments as they come in, the questions we get from uh, from users of these radios, USB-C is important to people. Um, USB in general, but USB-C seems to be the, the preferred way because phones, things like that are moving to USB-C. So uh, a lot of people already have a, like a charging framework or charging hardware in their vehicle mm-hmm. or in their home that's built around USB. So mm-hmm. being able to plug your radio into that hardware that you've already got is important. And mm-hmm. I really like the way that Ocean implemented this because it's a port on the side of the radio. And uh, you see some other manufacturers placing the port on the battery. And there are advantages to that. But having the port on the radio uh, means you don't even need a battery. You, you can completely yeah, yeah. remove the battery from the radio and operate it only over the USB-C uh, connection. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, Midland started incorporating USB-C ports on – all of their mobiles uh, or the mobiles that supported USB. And they, they did this whole changeover uh, about a year or two ago. And that's kind of where everything is trending, USB-C. Yeah, but they're, they're so, different. You know, they, you, those mobiles don't charge by USB-C. They just provide a port right, for right. you to charge your phone on right. through the radio. So it's a little different than what we're doing here. 